Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So this episode in the Spigot tutorial series, we're going to be doing commands part two, which is uh, basically me showing you how to make commands with classes. Uh, well, I mean, you already know how to do commands, but this time we're going to have a, a separate class for each command that you make. That's what uh, you should be doing when you make bigger plugins so you can have a big structure and stuff like that. So anyway, let's just get right into it. So commands on my part to something like that me dot illuminati productions there we go so next boom looks good to me commands are cool that's my description let's go ahead and copy the plugin name so we can put it that's what the folder will be called awesome Okie dokie, so let's get this set up here. Come on. Run, run, run. Faster. Awesome. So I'm going to get rid of this because we just don't need it. And then here, we're good with this for now. So let's go ahead and open up our project. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This one right here. So we have our main, then Java, then me. Oh gosh, I should probably fix that. Uh, compact empty middle packages, there we go. So there we go, here's our packages, right? And so I'm gonna make a new package here, new package. I'm gonna call this one commands, just like that, commands. So this will hold all our commands, obviously. So we'll have one command, we'll call it, um, let's set it to God. So slash God, if you know that command, it makes you invincible. So that's what we'll have for our first command. So yeah, um, so, so to make this command, um, we're gonna obviously need to, um, well, not obviously, cause we didn't do this last time, but what we need to do, we need to do extends command executor okay so there we go and then what we need to do so if you've been watching my other java episodes or you know about um, abstract classes and stuff um, when you have an abstract uh, method inside of an abstract class and then it extends that uh, class you have to implement the method basically basically like um what's it called i just made an episode on this it's called interfaces so if you don't know about that don't worry about it but so we have to add the imp implemented method here, which is basically just the command right here. So type public and then it'll come up and just tab like that. So that's what it's, it wants you to have this because you need to have this um, because this will be abstract or whatever, basically. So I'm not sure why we have a little error here. No interface expected here. Oh, right. It is an interface. So it has to be implements command executor. Sorry about that. So make sure whenever you make a command, it implements command executor. Don't forget that. Sorry about that. So um, yeah, so we'll leave all that. And good, this is return false. That's what we want. And so good, we have our command, right? So all pretty good, pretty good. So, so now that we're all done here, basically um, setting everything up, what we need to do is have, um, we need to check to see if the console or the player is, um, you know, obviously doing the command. So we'll do if, um, sender instance of player that's the player class of course oh uh, yeah we need to import that uh all tens here to import stuff automatically if you can and so there we go so we have that that's all good looks like so then within this we'll have our command or do whatever you want to the player so we'll do, we have to do um, we're gonna cast we don't have to do this but we're gonna cast it to make our life easier easier so player player equals player sender so like i said before this is just um, giving a variable of the name player and just reassigning the sen name sender to player. So then you can reference it like this, so player dot, and then you can do whatever you want to the player sender messages or whatever you want to do. So from that point, we can say, we can say is invincible or no set invince invulnerable true. So that should make him invulnerable, of course. Um, so yeah, there's many cool little methods here. This is a method if you don't know. Um, there's many cool methods you can do in this. That's why it's so fun to play with. So that should make the player an invul invulnerable, of course, because that's in the name. 
So the cool thing is uh, we didn't have to check the command. Sorry about my mic, but we didn't have to check to make sure the command was correctly uh, spelled out like this. But we did have to do, we had to do this before. Um, if uh, command dot get name dot equals and then have to have like God in here. And then we have to check this and we'll put all this inside there. Uh, we didn't have to do this, do this this time because it's in a whole uh, separate class. So what we're going to do here, go back into our main method. Now we register the command. So we'll do uh, git command and then we'll have God here. That's where we have it. And then set executor. This will be the class that's, that it's in. So new God. There we go. So um, it'll automatically import the class for you and all that kind of stuff. So now it's all set. But now, don't forget, we have to go into our plugin.yml and register our command. So commands, then we'll have, uh, what's it called, God. Then uh, we'll have description. Um, become invincible. I think I spelled that right. And then we'll say, it, let's just see if alias still works for this kind of stuff. So alias, or no, it's aliases, I forgot. Oops, aliases. I think it's like in a in an array thingy. So aliases, and we'll have um, invincible like that. So I think that'll work. But anyway, so that um, that all looks good to me. Um, so yeah, so we made our command here, command class of God, and then we checked to see if it's a player, and then made the player invulnerable, invulnerable, and then we returned false. So that, that should work pretty good. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our Maven thingy. So tool windows, Maven projects, then plugin. Oh no, no, no. life cycle. Then right click package. I'm sure this is, there's an easier, easier way to do this, but this is how I learned how to do it. Just right click package and run it and stuff like that. But yeah. Okay, so we're on the server now. Okay, let's see if our plugin correctly loaded. There we go, it's loaded. And uh, so let's test our command. Let's do slash God. We should have made it so it sends us a message just to test it out. But anyway, so what we should do now is try and take damage. So let's build a thingy and we'll jump off of it. All right. By world. Awesome. So we are now invulnerable. So that works. So we can't exactly take damage. So um, yeah, so that's how we did a basic command. And uh, just to finish things off, we're going to make one more command. So let's go back into our IntelliJ here. And let's go ahead and create a new command or new class inside of our uh, commands package. We're going to call this one feed. So whenever the player does slash feed, it feeds them completely or gives them food. Okay, so let's try that. And um, so, of course, we have to implement command executor. So that's all very simple, right? And as we have an error here just because we have to add the method, so public, and then we'll go down and tab that. Good, so that's done already. Pretty freaking simple, because IntelliJ is so awesome that it does uh, most of the work for you, so you don't have to memorize this whole crap. So, now that we have that, we can do our, our command. So if... Um, Sender instance of player. Nope, nope, no, no, don't want that. There you go. We're just importing player now, and then um, we'll do. I have actually else here, so else. Um, sender dot send message. You need to be a player to execute this command. And we'll do it. We'll do an assault message. System dot print line. I mean, not assault. So was the shortcut, of course. Oops. Gosh dang it. There we go. So that we'll do that. If the command, uh, if the console tries to run this command, I'll tell the console that will give that thingy. Yeah. <laughs> so um, from there we can do player player equals player. Oh my gosh. Sender, so player dot, let's see what we got here. So set food level. And we'll just set it to 20. That should make the food level maybe 10. 
I'm not sure how the food works. It's probably 20 because I, I, don't, I haven't played this game in a while, to be honest, so I don't know how it works. So I'm just going to assume it's 20. So that, are, that should give us max uh, food, theoretically. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, awesome. So now, don't forget, you have to register a command inside of your main method here. Um, so git command, we'll say feed, so executor, new feed. There we go. Really freaking simple. So now we have to register a command in our uh, plugin.yml, of course. So feed, description, hunger no longer, aliases. So, and then we'll say food please. That will be our alias for this one. So let's go ahead and compile this and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I relo reloaded the server. So let's try doing slash feed. And it gives us awesome. It fills our hunger bar. So that's really cool. It works. So we'll wait for it to go to. Oh, okay. It's already down again by like half. Let's go make it. Let's make it one whole thingy. All right. There we go. So let's do slash food, please. Awesome. Our alias works too. So, man, it really does feel good to have your code working. So, yep. That's how you do commands in Java um, with cl uh, separate classes and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any plugin ideas, just let me know, and I'll be doing lots of plugins plugins in the future, because um, I love playing around with this crap. It's pretty fun, and I'll probably start a spigot thingy where I can post uh, resources and stuff like that, plugins. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, so join the uh, in the description we have a Discord, so you can join that if you want to. Uh, subscribe subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a like if you want to support the channel. And peace.